Hi, my name is Dr. Hans Gruen. I'm one of the alternative physicians in Los Angeles. The winter season is still a little bit away, but the problem will be coming your way. Uh, unfortunately, many of my patients, many people in America, get sick over the winter. Colds and flus and getting sick frequently can spoil the season. So why do people get sick? Well, there's all kinds of reasons, obviously, over the winter, uh, the new, new viruses come around. Secondly, the humidity changes the susceptibility, uh, gets higher to viruses and viral diseases. We're more indoors, so we potentially get more infected. Um, there are a few other reasons, but these are some of the main ones. Now, what can we do? Well, the answer is in strengthening your immune system because if you have a strong immune system, you will easier come through the winter. Now, what does that mean? Well, first of, all, first, first of all, you have to know why your immune system is low. Are you someone, for example, who eats wrongly and is protein deficient? You know, some of my vegetarian clients who eat very little protein and have a very healthy diet otherwise because they're in all these greens and other stuff but they're protein deficient and protein deficiency is one of the main reasons of immune deficiency. Could it be that you're nutrient deficient, that you're not getting enough vitamins and minerals and antioxidants uh, and that is very well possible because our diet is mineral depleted not as it was 50 years ago. If you buy the same vegetables nowadays they will be 50 percent contain 50 percent less minerals than they used to in in um, in previous times due to our agricultural methods and what have you now what else if you're not sleeping and you're constantly under stress your immune system goes down if you have chronic infections specifically what's going on in your gut is your gut healthy you know is you do you have low-grade yeast infections, low-grade bacterial infections, uh, indigestion of any kind weakens your immune system. I often get asked, where do I find my immune system? What do you think? Where is it? Well, it's predominantly in the gut because that is where we get in contact with all these foreign bugs uh, as we're eating them and that's where the immune system uh, predominantly sits, in the gut. So you can imagine, for example, if you're eating food you're allergic to, let's say you have a gluten sensitivity, and you eat gluten-containing foods, which is wheat, rye, oat, and barley, then that will inflame your gut, irritate your gut, lead to leaky gut, and will reduce the amount of your immune system. So how do you know you have a low immune system? Well, because you feel tired all the time, if you, because you catch viruses, bacteria, fungus, any form of infections, even parasites, easily, much too often. Getting sick once a year or twice a year is perfectly fine because your immune system gets used to new stuff, but getting sick three, four, five times a year and then not just for a week or maybe 10 days, but for 14 days or longer and well, just when you're over it, the next cold or flu kicks in. That's not a healthy solution. We can do some testing and see where, where that comes from. Are you protein deficient? Do you have food sensitivities? Is there something medically going on? Is your thyroid low? Is your adrenals exhausted? There's all kinds of things we can test for. So the normal blood tests or medical tests would allow us to see more clearly objective data. And then you have all kinds of supplements and nutrients that uh, go from oral supplements, things like vitamin C, antioxidants, immune boosters, things like oregano oil, or other etheric oils that, which have a strong antiviral, antibacterial, even antiparasitic effect. Uh, Beta-glucan, which boosts up your immune system. And I mentioned already good old vitamin C, which has in early stages of viral diseases a shortening effect on the disease. Um, so other supplements and immune boosters so that you come through the season in a healthy and happy way.